As we continue on, Undisputed Wrestling Live tag team action by the male roster. As here they come, brave in death, El Noveno, Billy Bowers. Undisputed Wrestling Live. These two men getting ready. El Noveno, Billy Bowers, two of the toughest men in CAW, two best friends for a long time now, performing one hell of a tag team, brave in death. And these men are not just brave, they are badasses. Let me tell you, Billy Bowers, Double B, the pain master, El Noveno, the only original superstar to ever appear in the famous legendary call league, Superstars of Ka, SCAW Ska. Some would say that these men are the favorites here tonight as they take on the team of Silver Prince on the left, Amir Barnes on the right. This is the team of Egyptico. Former tag team champions and two different organizations, Silver Prince and Amir Barnes. They have somewhat of different lifestyles, but they know that together as a team, they are one of the top tag teams in CAW, which brings them to Undisputed Wrestling here tonight. Looking to become the Undisputed Tag Team Champions. The winning team will take on Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce. Silver Prince on the left, Amir Barnes on the right once again. Egyptico. And the, the, you don't have to respect them, but you definitely have, I mean, you don't have to like them, but you definitely have to respect them. These two men can get the job done, and they've proven it. Have wins over the le legendary tag team Damage Gauge. They've won a tag team championship from the legendary tag team Damage Gauge. You have to give them credit. That's why they are a tag team here. The winning team, Honest Blue Tag Team Championship. You can say this is a unification match when North American Elite Wrestling ended. These two, were the, these two teams were the tag team champions. And Billy Bowers with that Michinoku driver to start off the match on Silver Prince. Tag team action here. First ever male tag team match. First ever two on two tag team match in Undisputed Wrestling. Don't forget we have a live title tournament. Our very first champion will be crowned with Biff Andreas, Nick Gemini, Cage, Tyler King, Sean Dynasty, the Marcus Carter, and more compete tonight in a tournament to determine the champion, the very first ever live champion, a belt that will be defended on every show in Undisputed Wrestling that we have live. A belt that could be defended on another championship, another organization's company because of its live status. Don't want to take anything away from this match right now though. Billy Bowers, Amir Barnes, the two legal men in this matchup. Billy Bowers nailing a German suplex on Amir Barnes. Amir Barnes is a former world champion in a few organizations. Amir Barnes, devastating man. He wrestled in the independence and death matches. Got all these scars on his body. First right there though, Billy Bowers definitely holding his own. Now that Michinoku driver to Amir Barnes now. Billy Bowers. Amir Barnes is a strong man, but Billy Bowers does have the power and strength advantage, it looks like, over Amir Barnes in this situation, and I am very shocked. The pain master dishing out the pain. El Noveno definitely sharing on his tag team partner. Death and pain partner, Billy Bowers. El Noveno gets the tag. And Oveno, the legal man in this match now. El Noveno. Irish whip now. El Noveno. Oh, misses the drop kick. But Billy Bowers able to realize it and pulls the rope down. Amir Bowers in a bad way right now in this tag team matchup. Brave and death working great as a tag team. That might have even been intentional. You know, that might have even been intentional by El Noveno and Billy Bowers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take it away from those men for it to be intentional. Amir Barnes now on the outside of the ring, and some would say this is his specialty on the outside of the ring, where they're brawling and they're fighting. Oh. 
Amir Barnes now with that devastating gut wrench suplex. And both men now for counts at five. Now, we've been told that if a draw happens, Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce will be handed the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship. And we don't want to see that happen. As Amir Barnes tags in the Silver Prince, Egyptico seems to be winning this match right now, but El Novano cuts off Silver Prince with a snap mirror. Shades up Kurt Henning right there with that, that neck whip. Kind of like pull like everything out of the neck right there. Trust me, if you don't think it hurts, let a lot of hit you with it, then you'll see how much it hurts. Silver Prince now. Cover one, two. Hey, hey, referee, oh, referee needs to realize that he did that El Novano grabbed the rope at two. I think he grabbed it at one. Referee counted two before he's seen. And that was a little scary for El Novano's team, I bet. Brave in death. El Novano going for a neck breaker. Amir Barnes fights out of it. Amir Barnes. Amir Barnes. Oh, going for some kind of slam there. El Novano, though, fights out of it. El Novano now. Missed that, that, that shot to the kidney I think he was going for. And that giant choke toss by Amir Barnes knocks down El Novano. Amir Barnes now going for some kind of T-bone. Oh my god, T-bone exploder. Devastating maneuver here. One, two. No, El Novano kicks out at two. Billy Bowers having faith in his partner there to kick out. I would have gone in there and broken up after a move like that. That was scary. Amir Barnes now, working over El Noveno. Amir Barnes, what's he going for here? And he's going for this Egyptian's curse. This Egyptian's, oh my God, oh my God, an Egyptian's curse into an overhead suplex. I would definitely get in the way and break this about Billy Bowers, and he does, because I believe that would have been it. What a devastating maneuver by Amir Barnes in his tag team match. Everyone's off, the, off their chair, standing on their feet. What a move right there. I'm surprised I mean, if El Novano is even conscious right now. Amir Barnes, he, he's, he's got to be the referee continuing this match. Amir, El Novano is on his feet, and I don't know how. And I just do not know how. El Novano somehow actually fighting back now. El Novano. What's he going to do here? Big back suplex. Kips up. El Novano's got the advantage now. Raven Death getting the tag to Billy Bowers. And Amir Barnes now still fighting against uh, against Billy Bowers, and I would love to see those guys in a one-on-one -on -one match. Just like I say, they, they've been fighting and brawling almost this entire matchup. Silver Prince, Billy Bowers. Now the two legal men in this match going for a stuplex as Billy Bowers nails it on the Silver Prince. Silver Prince. Not related to Silver King, but a tribute to Silver King. Silver King who passed away in the ring in 2019. Very sad, sad result. Silver King, the legendary star in Mexico. And that's where Silver Prince decided to step in and, let, and continue the tribute and, le and legacy of Silver King. As we have a cover. One, two, no. Silver Prince working over. Working over Billy Bowers here with this headlock, this chin lock. Well, like just wrenching the head. Silver Prince tags in Billy Bowers, or tags in Amir Barnes. Billy Bowers and Amir Barnes are two legal men now. Amir Barnes, big back suplex on to Billy Bowers. Was the cover one, two, and almost wins this match, but only gets two. Amir Barnes out. Oh, what a Once again, nails Billy Bowers with it. And Amir Barnes, like I said, the Bills, he's a strong man at, at, at six foot two, 245 pounds, 255 pounds, I think. I can't remember exactly, but Amir Barnes is a very strong man despite his size. And Amir Barnes now working over the head and neck area of Billy Bowers here. Into the, their 
respected corners.
is nothing short of amazing, in my opinion. And wait a second, Silver Prince now has Billy Bowers. He just kicked him right down. I told you, these men don't have much left. He kicked him right down. That's all he did was kick him down to the ring mat. And that might be all he needed. Silver Prince, wait a second, fear the ropes, fear the ropes, fear the ropes, fear the ropes. And oh my God, they just stole it. They just stole it. They just stole it. And Billy Bowers had nothing left. They just stole it. Be on the ropes. And, and the tag team of Egypto Go will go on to take on Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce at Undisputed Wrestling 2 for the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship. And I got to say, everybody, this was a phenomenal tag team match. This was how tag team wrestling is done. I just can't believe. Look at this. Look at this. He just kicked him down. He couldn't. That's what a finish there. He just kept kicking him until he couldn't stand no more. Billy Bowers gave it all that he had. He even put his feet on the ropes. Billy Bowers tried kicking out. The lever just wasn't for him. And Silver Prince, Amir Barnes, they know what just happened. They know they're going to go on to the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship match at UW2. And like I said, Egyptico can never be counted out. What tag team action. As here we are, the start of the live championship tournament in Undisputed Wrestling. Nick Gemini, the MILF Hunter, the anime character come to life, some would say. Nick Gemini taking on the very respected car icon, Biff Andreas. And this is going to be a hard match for Nick Gemini to face off the quarterfinals, the very first round of this live championship tournament. But Nick Gemini is very, very confident in himself, as he's very confident in hunting the MILFs, he says. Nick Gemini, Biff Andreas, one on one, the first of four quarterfinal championship live championship matches here tonight. Which the whole live championship is about to happen right now here on Disputed Wrestling, everybody. Nick Gemini, Biff Andreas, Nick Gemini has won championship gold in multiple companies, including NCWL. So Nick Gemini is no stranger to competition. He had a hell of a feud at Caucasian 2. Did Nick Gemini. Picked up some big wins to Nick Gemini at Caucasian 2. And here he is. The call legend. Biff Andreas is here. In Undisputed Wrestling. And Biff Andreas looks determined here tonight. He wants to add another championship to his resume, and that is the live championship. Recently, Biff Andreas has become a two-time XGWL live champion, so he would like to add another live championship to his resume. Biff Andreas, the call legend. Some would even say an icon, and I would be one of those people that says Biff Andreas an icon here in CAW. We're gonna take on Nick Gemini one-on-one. -on -one. Now don't forget, having to wrestle three matches in one night, one of, these, one of these eight men will have to do to win this live championship. As the match is underway, the tournament has officially begun. The very first ever championship to be crowned the United, the United, the Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship. Collar and elbow tie up right here, and nice trip by Biff Andreas on Nick Gemini. And Nick Gemini, because you can see he did not like that, and now Andreas has a Gemini right by where he wants him mentally, and works him over with a big suplex and suplex variation neck breaker off the ropes, stealing a run from Rob Conway if anyone remembers him. Biff Andreas now stomping on Nick Gemini. Don't forget, in this tournament, we have Tyler King making his return to CAW. Signed to Undisputed Wrestling with Tyler King. Biff Andreas knows that man very well. Wouldn't it be interesting to see those two men face off 
at some point in this tournament. I believe it could happen in the semifinals. If Nick Jedi has something to say about it, I know he would not allow that to happen. And I'm sure Lamarcus Carter, Tyler King's opponent, would be saying the same thing if I asked him. Now, if a count all happens, that would be and one, only one man's advantage here, and that would be the bra or, or the, the winner of the bracket in the, in the next in the next one over. Andreas Nick Gemini, referee's count is at five. Fighting on the outside of the ring, Gemini Biff Andreas. Andreas, little rocked, and Nick Gemini, that anime character, come to life very, very. Very showing a lot of personality right now against Biff Andreas, but we get a little cocky. Andreas gets back in the ring though, and you don't want to get cocky against a veteran like Biff Andreas. He's a crafty veteran. And Nick Gemini though, he's a veteran himself with that rewind Hurricane Rana right there, that rewind Rana, some people would call that. Oh, but somehow Biff Andreas gets a knee lift coming up off his feet onto Nick Gemini. That could be the height and weight difference right there between these two men. Gemini is definitely smaller in weight than Biff Andreas and a little shorter. But that gives Gemini the advantage of doing things like this. The sunset flip power bomb right there on the Biff Andreas. Able to whip it off quickly like that. We're also going to see... Cage returned to call here tonight. Cage, he only had one match, and that was during the NAEW pandemic special. And that was his only match he's competed in years. Cage makes a full time call, full time return to CAW here tonight. Undisputed rest is the place to be. If you're new talent tall, if you're a veteran, Andreas with a two count only after that power slam. Undisputed wrestling is the place to be. And I'm glad you are here live tonight. Thank you everyone in the chat for being here with me. If you're in the chat, just give me a thumbs up right now. So I'd like to see some thumbs up in the chat. Andreas, and if you're watching on YouTube, you should be watching at twitch.tv slash funny. Twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot Call. Danny Jackpot C-A-W if you're watching on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Biff Andreas going for the Yurinagi on the Dick Jedi! Yurinagi by Andreas! I've seen him win championships with this move! Two! And Gemini kicks out at two! Gemini fighting back here now. Andreas can't believe it. And like I said, I've seen Biff Andreas win championships with that with that Yurinagi of his. That signature Yurinagi of Andreas. Oh, and an atomic drop by Andreas now. That couldn't have hurt. That had to hurt the Milk Hunter's uh, chances later tonight of hunting. And Andreas now trying to toss Gemini outside the ring. Andreas looking for something big on the edge. Oh my god! Dive right through the ropes with a spear, Andreas! Here on Undisputed Wrestling 1! Biff Andreas picks up Gemini now, tosses him back in the ring after that huge move! Andreas has the crowd behind him! I'm surprised that these partners isn't here in Nick Gemini's corner. I believe management told him that this tournament has to have fair decisions, so we're not gonna have that happen. Andreas now with the cover, and wait a second, with his feet on the ropes, Andreas, the crafty veteran. Oh, we just seen a match end like that. He did, he tried to take one like that, but it didn't work. Andreas, the, the crafty veteran. Even with the fans behind him, the fans are on their feet right now. And yeah, the fans are on their feet for Andreas, whatever he has planned here. Thank you for the thumbs up in the chat, everyone. Andreas looking for a superplex on the Nick Gemini trying to break this man in half. Andreas now with the cover after the superplex. This could be it. Two, three. Andreas beats Nick Gemini almost with a variation of the wave of the future from the top rope. I believe that's what Biff Andreas might have been going for. Andreas pins Gemini here tonight. As you can see right here, I believe Biff Andreas going to top rope, possibly looking for some kind of variation of the wave of the future. And Nick Gemini maybe just trying to fight out of it. Biff Andreas nails that big big move. Either way, that is it. Gemini is out. And Andreas picks up a big win here in the opening contest. And hopefully he didn't get hurt too much in this matchup because this is a tournament and we'll be seeing Biff in the semifinals later tonight.
Live Championship Tournament. And it's happening right now. Connor James makes his way down the ring. This man is an OPW, the Brody Cup winner. He is also a former NAEW Canadian Tag Team Champion and a former NAEW Maple Leaf Champion. Connor James can win championship gold. And he's looking to win another championship here tonight. Connor James takes on Mike Ballander. Mike Ballander, who's a former Brutality Champion, looking to win his first singles championship gold that he can really put 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 something up, put his name behind. Because he's a former Hardcore Champion, a former Brutality Champion in places, but Mike Ballander has yet to win that big singles gold. His first thing that he can say, I'm proud to be this champion. And maybe he can win this tournament. And maybe Mike Ballander can shock the world. And maybe Mike Ballander will be the first ever Undisputed Wrestling Live champion. If, I'm about to touch, tell you right now the diabolical Connor James has. <laughs> not only does he have something to say about that, I'm sure he'd love to stop that because that is a diabolical Connor James, and that's the kind of person he is. Mike Ballander, who believes he is a Viking, makes his way down to the ring. He says, but hey, he's from Minnesota. He's from Minneapolis. The Vikings are from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Why wouldn't that make him a Viking? I'm not going to question Mike Ballander. He's a big man. I don't like to scare big men. Mike Ballander, Connor, Connor James, one-on-one -on -one here in the second match here at Honest Beauty Wrestling Tournament. Live championship tournament. Mike Ballander, Connor James, as I mentioned, the very first round here. The winner of this match will move on to the semifinal, so you don't want to get too hurt in these first round matches. You want to try to win. You want to try to win quickly. You want to try to not get hurt in any way. Connor James, Mike Ballander. This match is underway. Mike Ballander starts off the match. Irish whip, but Connor James able to rebound himself and then nails a jawbreaker onto Mike Ballander. Connor James stomps on Mike Ballander. And don't forget, we already seen. Vic Gemini eliminated from the tournament by Biff and Jarius with a huge win with the future of the top rope. I'm sure both these men don't want to end up with the same status as Nick Gemini after this match. They'll be fighting to not have that status. Connor James, Irish whip. Oh, gets reversed. Jawbreaker of Mike Ballander now. By Mike Ballander. Mike Ballander now. Power slam. Interesting way he turned the body right there. Still able to turn over Connor James and deliver some. An, an impactful power slam. Mike Ballander now. Looking for a suplex, but Connor James reverses. Connor James. Looking to become the first ever Honest Music Wrestling Live Champion. Just have to win three matches here to do it. All in one night. That's a hard task. We're live here, and that's what it's all about. That's what that championship's about. That belt will be defended on every live show that we ever do. And it can even be defended on other organizations' live streams. So don't forget to always watch it on the Cod Chill Zone Discord. There's always a link down in the description. The brawler-like style of Connor James definitely got the advantage right now. But Mike Ballander now the jawbreaker once again. Mike Ballander now. Oh, gets reversed. Connor James, German suplex. Connor James gets a lot of his inspiration from Japanese wrestling, he says. I spent a lot of time in dojos, says Connor James. I don't know specifically what dojos, because Connor James doesn't tell me. Connor James nails a nice T bone suplex with a slow, devastating, maniacal like impact right there. Gets the job done. No, it doesn't. Only gets two for Connor James here in this tournament. Big backbreaker. I'm sure he's actually hoping to break the back. Ba break the back of Mike Ballander, everybody. And big knee to the gut. Connor James. Oh my God. Twisting suplex. This could be it. 
one, two, go! And Mike Ballander somehow kicks out again. Mike Ballander has been getting that fight taken to him. The ribs, the back, that whole, that whole torso of Mike Ballander has got to be hurt and got to be bruised up. Mike Ballander, though, oh, big Samoan drop out of nowhere onto Connor James. Mike Ballander now, bringing the fight to Connor James, clubbing blows and stomps. And, oh, nice, nice little Mexican arm drag right there by Mike Ballander. Oh, Irish whip rebound into a shoulder tackle. A nice stiff kick to the chest. Connor James is actually hurt. Mike Ballander trying to take advantage of the situation. Oh, a big rip breaker. Ballander showing some strength of his own. Oh my God, overhead suplex. Or overhead toss, I should say. Ballander now, what's he got planned here? Mike Ballander, I believe he could be going for a giant swing. And yes, he plans on going a swing with Connor James. A giant swing, Mike Ballander with this Viking swing, he calls this, this Viking swing. Bam, nails it on Connor James, the Viking swing. Mike Valander now telling Connor James, you are nothing, one, two. Connor James kicks out and Mike Valander maybe should have been doing too much talking, I mean, should, doing his, should have been doing a cover job on Connor James. Connor James is the more decorated superstar here between the two. Mike Valander got his debut started in OPW Stream. Let's not forget for the Hardcore Championship, won the belt there. Connor James got his start in New AW. Connor James, Mike Valander compete in a lot of call places, call organizations against each other some other times in other places. These two men are familiar with each other. Connor James, big shot to the chest there, reverses over Mike Valander at Glenn. Toss him over the top rope, and I'm sure this match ends by count out. I'm sure only one man would be happy, and I think it's Biff Andreas. Connor James breaking up the announce table at ringside that we are not sitting at. The table that we have at ringside for decoration. I guess. I don't know how to describe that table right now. Oh, what a suplex into Mike Dollander at the leg. Can't describe why there's a table with empty seats, but there is. And Connor James is looking to use this as a weapon against Mike Ballander here in this tournament matchup. The referee's count though is at six and a half and Connor James got back in the ring. Mike Ballander now telling Connor James, what are you doing? And Connor James doesn't care about to have a conversation with Mike Ballander and that's the problem with Mike Ballander sometimes is I don't think Mike Ballander's head's always in it. Mike Ballander and oh my God, Connor James looking to hurt Mike Ballander here. I told you now, with that torso being worked over, Connor James wants to get, oh my God, superplex onto the outside. Onto the outside, Mike Ballander, could, the wind could be knocked out of him, he could be knocked out. I think Connor James is definitely gonna win this match here, unless Mike Ballander shows me something different. I don't even know how Ballander's fighting back right now, but Ballander is. Ballander, Actually going for a cover on Connor James. If he somehow pins Connor James right now, I'd be shocked. I didn't think that was gonna keep Connor James down. Ballander, you can see his body is so tired. He has been worked over so much by Connor James. Ballander though, still trying to fight back. Ballander. Irish whip into the other turnbuckle. Ballander, oh, splashes him, clotheslines him, just crushes him in that corner. Ballander now, I've seen him use this move before as a finisher. He calls this the deadlift. Nails it on Connor James. He calls that the deadlift. Mike Ballander now. Oh my God. Trying to twist the neck right off of Connor James' torso. Right off his body. He's trying to rip the head right off his body. Connor James. Oh my God. That is screaming in agony is Connor James. But Connor James now reversing whatever Mike Ballander had planned, and I don't think he wanted to get nailed with that kind of move once again. I think that might have woke Connor James up. Oh, a spinning back fist on the Mike Ballander kind of knocked him out right there. Oh my God! One, two, three. Connor James just knocked out Mike Ballander with a spinning back fist, and that MMA training that Connor James done has has shown off here tonight, and has paid off against the opponent and Mike Ballander. What a tag team match here.
I mean, what, what a match here. As you see, this biking swing wasn't enough to keep Connor James down, as that biking swing's very impressive. But Connor James was the one victorious here with a spinning back fist, the diabolical one. Connor James, the devious one. Connor James, the man who sleeps with your mother. Connor James. Undisputed Wrestling continues live with Marcus Carter here in the third quarter final. Live championship tournament about to take on a man who's making his return to CAW, a former New AW World Heavyweight Champion, Tyler King, a former WDF NXT Champion, NXT Tag Team Champion, Tyler King, the very first. Retired that belt when he left CAW due to personal reasons. Tyler King now back. NCAW, and he has a hell of an opponent, the six foot nine LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter, I'm sure, would love to be well, the welcoming party, as he would say to Tyler King here tonight. As Tyler King makes his way down the ring, the majesty has returned. Tyler King is back in a CAW arena and it is undisputed wrestling and Tyler King is here and man has he, does he look great. Tyler King, the majestic one. Tyler King. Telling fans how happy he is to be back, Tyler King. As you can see, these fans, they know they're seeing something special. If you're watching live, you are seeing something special. You are seeing the legendary CAW return of Tyler King. That is the first time Tyler King has made an entrance since the 2009 Turkey Bowl in North American Elite Wrestling, where he had made a guest appearance. Tyler King, LaMarcus Carter, one-on-one, -on -one, third match of the Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship Tournament. And what a championship tournament this has been already. We've already seen the likes of Biff Andreas and Connor James continue on here in the tournament. We're gonna see Cage versus Sean Dynasty. And we're gonna see this match right now. Tyler King, LaMarcus Carter, And all one of those men are going to be the Undisputed Wrestling Live Champion when it's all said and done. Tyler King reversing that suplex on the outside of the ring. These men brought on the outside of the ring to start their match. Tyler King, if he can win my count on really quickly, he would have saved himself. Well, Marcus Carter's on the outside of the ring. The referee's count's at seven. King gets back, Carter gets back in the ring. King allows it. I think King wants to show people what he can do in the ring once again. Now he's back, and King went right at Carter. You can see Carter's height did not differ anything. Tyler King knows LaMarcus Carter very well. They've wrestled each other in the past before. Tyler King, LaMarcus Carter. So good to see Tyler King back in a CAW ring. Tyler King down for the cover, LaMarcus Carter. Does not even get a one. Tyler King in his triumphant return, well, in his return, would like to make it triumphant, I would say. LaMarcus Carter is trying to be the, the buzz killer here, I think. Because if he if he stops this, man, that would be a letdown for this crowd. And LaMarcus Carter doesn't care. LaMarcus Carter only cares about one thing, and that's winning championships. LaMarcus Carter taking the fight to Tyler King. And don't forget, LaMarcus Carter has been more active than Tyler King, so he should be the favorite here. And LaMarcus Carter misses that bicycle kick, and if he would've hit that, that could've been it. Tyler King somehow able to duck that bicycle kick, and then able to reverse this power slam into a spinning DDT. Good job, Tyler King. Tyler King does not want to let these fans down. King, going for the cover, one, two, Oh, Marcus Carter kicks out at two. Tyler King. What's he going for here? The King's Plunge! The King's Plunge by Tyler King! One, two! Oh, and he almost won the match with the King's Plunge. The King's
King is plunged by Tyler King. We haven't seen that in years, I believe. Tyler King picks up Lamarcus Carter. Shoulder breaker. Shoulder breaker. Shades a Rogue Warrior animal right there. I think the only guy I've ever seen really use a shoulder breaker normally. I don't know how often you use that. Big clothesline by Tyler King. And oh, going for a kick, but Carter caught him. A dragon screw leg whip right there. Carter now has Tyler King in a bad way. Beat him down on the mat. Oh my gosh, Carter. Taking that fight to King. Oh, with that big drop kick from a six foot nine man. That's a lot of pressure on your back. Oh, and now with a Luthez pressing some punches. They're bringing the fight to Tyler King. It's LaMarcus Carter. The cover now by Von King, by Carter. This could be the match here, but no. King gets his shoulder up at two, and Carter cannot believe it. LaMarcus Carter has King in a bad way. What's he got planned here now? Irish with Tyler King. Tyler King now on the outside of the ring. LaMarcus Carter on his feet wrestling one. LaMarcus Carter looking to do something big, I believe. What's he got? Oh my God, through the ropes! A six foot nine man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Love Marcus Carter, he won. That is why he is here at Spirit Wrestling. He is one of the top tier talents in CAW, Love Marcus Carter. Tyler King somehow fighting back. That's why Tyler King's here. After a big move like that, Tyler King somehow fighting back and I can't believe it. Tyler King. Getting reversed by LaMarcus Carter. Tyler King now. Working over. I'm getting worked over in a trio bowl position by LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter then just chokes on him into, with so much force that it actually unties Tyler King from that trio bowl. LaMarcus Carter now going for a cover. I think it's one though. Tyler King still trying to fight back. Tyler King still got some life. But LaMarcus Carter cuts him off right as he's trying to get up. Cuts him off. Suplex. Tyler King gets cut off the rope on that suplex. Tyler King is just in a bad way right now. LaMarcus Carter isn't letting Tyler King get anything started. And this is exactly how LaMarcus Carter wants this match to be going. If you're LaMarcus Carter, Tyler King is getting no momentum. Do you know he'd be a house of fire with these with these fans behind him? The fans on their feet because they don't believe what they're seeing happen to Tyler King in his return match. LaMarcus Carter now working over Tyler King. What's he going to do here? Oh, God damn, a hip toss. Going for the cover now. LaMarcus Carter believes it's over and only gets two once again. Tyler King. Somehow, just fighting, just finding a way to fight. Tyler King ducks the punch, grabs the arm, going for his finisher. He crowned him. Tyler King just crowned him. The King's crown. I can't remember what else it was called. The King's crown. One, two, three. Tyler King somehow fights back and wins. Tyler King somehow fights back and wins. Tyler King victorious in his return match. Tyler King will move on here in this quarter final in this quarter final match. Or in this live championship tournament. Tyler King victorious in his CAW return against LaMarcus Carter. What a victory for Tyler King. What a victory for Tyler King. Victorious over but Marcus Carter, a triumphant return. We'll move on in the U Undisputed Wrestling. The live championship continues now as we have a man who just made his return to CAW, Cage. Undisputed Wrestling has some of the greatest superstars returning to CAW, some of the top talents in CAW, and this man is one of them. A former WWE United States and Intercontinental Champion is Cage. Cage can do it all. And Cage has a chance to really show the crowd what he is made of. That cage kick he uses. Cage. Making his debut here in Honest Spirit Wrestling.
wrestling just like everybody here on Esprit Wrestling One Cage. So happy to be here and the fans seem to be really behind Cage. And Cage, Cage I think really just, really just love the fact that he, I think it's been a decade since Cage has been this relatively known and Cage absolutely just loves it. I think he's happy to be back in the CAW world, and we're all happy to have Cage back. And if one man is going to have any difference to say about it, it's the preacher, it's the spoiler, it's the brass wisdom, it's Sean Dynasty. And if this man has an opinion about everything in the world, and trust me, it's probably different than what yours is, and Sean Dynasty is not afraid to tell you it. And if you follow him at Brass Wisdom on Twitter, he is not afraid to tell you. I believe it's Brass Bond now, at Brass Bond. So Brass Bond on Twitter, he'd love for me to plug that. Sean Dynasty, everyone. He would just love to argue with you on Twitter, at Brass Bond. <laughs> oh, Sean Dynasty, you can see Hasty's fans. Hates everything, hates everyone. The preacher, the good father, he calls himself pretty much. Sean Dynasty believes he's better than you. Cage. Sean Dynasty, the final quarterfinal match. Come on, Cage! I, I, I gotta say, I, you, I, Cage gotta be Sean Dynasty here. He has my support in this matchup. I'd like to see Cage defeat Sean Dynasty quickly and Cage be triumphant. Sean Dynasty thinks he's better than everybody else. Well, guess what? He isn't. But I'd hate for him to be able to prove that he's right by winning this tournament. Cage now, reversing Sean Dynasty. Cage, big elbow drop on the Sean Dynasty. And Cage. What's he got planned here against Sean Dynasty? Toss it right into the ring post. Fans gotta like that one. Actually, fans now. Oh my god, they're just stomping away. And I think you got your heel section with some moves right now. It's Cage is just big and just bringing the fight to Sean Dynasty. And I told you, Cage is a house of fire. I've never seen this man so fired up to be in a wrestling ring. It's been a long, long time since Cage has had this inspiration. And Sean Dynasty, wow! Wow, I don't even want to take anything away. That was very clever. That was very creative by Sean Dynasty. It's going to build him a second in a minute. Sean Dynasty's obviously letting his temper get the best of him here. Or he either just drawed Cage right in. Oh, he bit Cage in that one part of his mask that you couldn't see. And that's just the face. And Cage, though, able to fight Sean Dynasty back. Cage, big power slam onto Sean Dynasty. Cage. Dynasty gets back in the ring. It'd be a shame to see this match in by a count out. Any of these tournament matches in by a count out. Sean Dynasty and Cage. And you can say both these men's careers are kind of parallel in the fact that they, it took a long time for them, for these men to get the respect. Not from me. I've always respected both of these men. Actually, I can't say that about Cage. I feel bad about that. Sean Dynasty has the respect longer than Cage. But Cage, Cage now has my respect for Sean Dynasty. Does. So it all turns around and call Cage with a big boot. Either way, these men worked for the respect they got. Well respected in call. Cage to go. Oh, and Sean Dynasty was almost down for the three count. Fans on their feet now. Sean Dynasty will reverse that bomb slap that Cage was going for. At least I'm honest, right? Love you, Cage. All right, Cage is nailed with this huge rush of legs by Sean Dynasty. Sean Dynasty now gets reversed by Cage. Cage now. Cage should be setting him up for the Cage Kick. We could be seeing the Cage Kick. We could be seeing the Cage Kick. Nails the Cage Kick. He nails the Cage Kick. He nails the Cage Kick. It's over. It's over. The Cage Kick. One, two, three. What? No. Sean Dynasty. Sean Dynasty. I thought that match was over. Sean Dynasty kicks out the cage kick. Now Sean Dynasty on the offense. Sean Dynasty tosses cage to the 
outside of the ring. What's Sean Dynasty got planned here? Sean Dynasty. Oh, now this banging this man's head on the outside of the ring. Oh my God, and there's only cement under that thin mat on the outside of the ring, everybody. Cage now with a trapezius hold on. I'm Dynasty with a trapezius hold on Cage. Dynasty could be trying to win this match by count out. Dynasty has taken a lot of punishment in this match. You had a tournament. Dynasty does roll back in the ring, does not want to lose this match by count out either. Neither of these men do. Live championship tournament. Cage. Cage now. Has Dynasty in a bad way, probably right where he wants it. Dynasty, oh my god! Oh my god, a terrible landing for Sean Dynasty. This could be it. Cage now, going for the pin. Cage now, wait a second, has this on the ropes. Cage has his feet on the ropes. Cage, oh, tries to steal one. Cage is now getting desperate to win this match. And I cannot blame him. Cage. Cage wants to win in his first match. In this tournament, he has all the momentum in the world. He doesn't want to lose it. Cage now working over the leg. A man that a man with a, a one-legged man in an asking contest usually is an unfavorable man. Unless he's fighting a man in a wheelchair. <laughs> Cage now. Cage now with a nice headlock. This match slowing down. These two men gotta be exhausted. Oh, Sean Dynasty actually working up to his feet now. Sean Dynasty, oh, wait a second, gets grabbed by Cage. Cage now, fall away slam, shades of Scott Hall, shades of JBL. Very nice fall away slam by Cage. Cage now, oh, trying to pull the hamstring of Sean Dynasty with that maneuver. And like I said about the one-legged man in an asking contest, we'll be doing too good. Cage now. Oh, wait a second. Wait, a sleeper hold. No way. A sleeper hold. He's won championships of WWE with this very move. Cage looking for the sleeper hold. Cage is looking for the sleeper hold. And Sean Dynasty somehow rolls and gets out of there. Are you kidding me? What a match between these two men. Sean Dynasty. Oh, headbutt. Nasty headbutt right there in the back of the head. Cage wears that mask. That's actually really smart. Cage now in a bad way. Uh, getting nailed in the back of the head like that's devastating always. Cage now. Oh no! The Dynasty Destroyer! The Dynasty Destroyer! Oh my god! One, two, three! Sean Dynasty victorious against Cage. And what a match these two men just had. You gotta give it to Cage. You gotta give it to Sean Dynasty. I guess all the all, all the return magic was left with Tyler King tonight. Sean Dynasty plays the spoiler. He plays that man you like to hate. And even the cage kick keeps wasn't enough for Sean Dynasty. As Don Dynasty comes back, nails the Dynasty Destroyer on Cage. Victorious is Sean Dynasty. Sean Dynasty will move on to the tournament and take on Tyler King, a man he is. I'm Disputed Wrestling, hosted by Danny Jackpot, live here on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW. Also, want to find us on youtube.com slash DJack Extras. That is D. Jack Extras. As this man makes his way down the ring right now, the genuine ass kicker, the following contest Nate Barron, is scheduled for Drew one Drew Botch ball. has the NAEW championship, making his way to the ring the from champion. New York. Weighing in at There's 300 pounds. There's always mistakes guys. I almost one missed it all off. Nate Barron having one mistake here. Finn the genuine Warren. ass kicker, Nate Barron, making his way down the ring right now. Yeah, 
Nate Fair and gonna go one-on-one -on -one with Marcus Matrix. Undisputed Wrestling Live, the very first match. As Nate Farron makes his way in the ring, Marcus Matrix, and his opponent, who is wearing the AEW Junior Weight Championship. Winner. You can see where these two men at least used to be in their, in at 220 in their pounds. old one place. Half of the one was the Super Junior Weight Champion, one was the Heavyweight Champion, one was undefeated Marcus. as champion. That was man. Marcus Matrix, I gotta mention. Marcus Matrix making his way down the ring with his tag team partner, Dale Von Deuce. These two men will take on the winners of the tag team matchup later tonight for the Undisputed Tag Team Championship at Undisputed Wrestling 2. As Marcus Matrix and Dale Von Deuce make their way down the ring, only one of these men will compete against Nate Farron, and that man is Marcus Matrix right there. Making his way into the ring is Marcus Matrix, and this man is cocky from Hollywood, California, Marcus Matrix. Going to be taking on the genuine ass ticker and Nate Farron. Marcus Matrix is known as the realist. And things are about to get real right now between Marcus Matrix, Nate Farron, Undisputed Wrestling's very first ever match. I am hyped, I hope you are. The referee's about to ring this bell and Undisputed Wrestling is started officially. Nate Farron grabbing the arm of Marcus Matrix. There is definitely going to be a size and weight difference here between the two men. I will leave about 90 pounds difference, about six inches of height difference. Nate Farron taking control of Marcus Matrix early in this matchup. Dale Von Deuce in the corner of Marcus Matrix's tag team partner here tonight. And as you can see right there, as, I, as soon as I say his name, Dale Von Deuce tries to... And, and, and wait a sec, we got a roll up here. Marcus Matrix might have this match won. What a distraction. What a, wait a second, Marcus Matrix just stole it. Here in the first match of Nate Fair cannot believe it. Oh my God, and neither can I. Nate Farron. Here, Marcus winner. Matrix is on Super fire, Super and Nate Barron is trying to tell the referee, and that is, Marcus Nate Barron is actually Man. wrong. But I, 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 as much as I hate to disagree, Marcus Matrix to, uh, starts off here a big, big win over a f As the here comes contest. the Wicked Syndicate, Spring Tigress on the left, Lilith on the right. And... This match scheduled for one fall. Six ladies tag team action here tonight. Spring Terrace, Lilith, who have been teaming for over a year now. Definitely know each other. They are a tag team in multiple other companies, and I mean multiple. Lilith's also a former NAEW Divas champion. I know that for a fact. These ladies compete all over CAW and now they're in Undisputed Wrestling. One of the top premier talents, one of the top premier leagues. Teaming up with a lady that they know very familiarly, Rachel Cross, Red Hood Rachel Cross. And she is something right out of a fairy tale, isn't she? Says her inspiration in life is and their Little Red Robin Hood. From Hollywood, California, Evan Marie. Now she used to team with Lilith back in a company called North American Elite Wrestling. These two are teaming once again. I would say these three ladies have the advantage in this tag team matchup as they know each other very well. As Rachel Cross makes her way down the ring, we are still just, just stunned at the shocking turn of events we've seen. Earlier, when Marcus Matrix pinned Nate Farron off a distraction thanks to Dale Von Deuce. I know everyone in this arena was shocked, and so was I. Rachel Cross 
in the ring. These three ladies going to be ready to take on their opponents. Rachel Cross on the left, those in the middle, Spring Tigers on the right. And, their opponent and here comes Alexandra Murray, everyone. Alexia she was the very Marie. first ever North American Elite Wrestling Divas Champion. Alexandra Marie definitely has the resume to back up everything that she says, and she does talk a lot of smack. Alexandra Marie, one of the top women wrestlers here in CAW, has made her way to Undisputed Wrestling. And you can see she is glamorous. It's almost going to be like two beauties in the beast. When you see Alexandra Marie, Sasha Blackrose, and Pranvera Bagali team up, as two of them seem to live this luxurious lifestyle, and the other one, well, I, she looks a, 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 a alternative lifestyle, we'll call this. As I believe Pranvera Bagali about to make her way down the ring right now. Here in the Undisputed Wrestling Arena. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, Pamela. And as Pran Barabagali, everybody. And she is definitely scary. She'll be teaming with Alexandra Marie and Sasha Blackrose. Pran Barabagali. Trained by Vincent and Kali, I believe. I don't have my notes in front of me. Pran Barabagali. As you can see, as I don't even have to explain what kind of woman she is and what she brings to this divas, this women's division here in Undisputed Wrestling, this ladies division. Definitely wouldn't want to be caught in a dark alley with this girl at night. <laughs> dark alley at night. Oh God, terrible. As Sasha Black Girls makes her way down the ring. From New York, Sarah. Bravo! She has been in car for a very long time. Sasha Black Girls has made her way here to Undisputed Wrestling. And like I said, if uh if Alexandria Marie is glamorous, this lady is very majestic. She is very uh, uptight almost, I hate to say. You can see by the way she walks. She considers herself, wow, very impressive right there. Very athletic. You, you got to give her that. Look at Sasha Black Rose. Very, very impressive. Got to give it to her. This six women's tag team matchup about to start. Wow. And Spring Tigers can't believe it as this match has just been restarted. Alexandra Marie now with a Fujiwara armbar. This match has been restarted. Alexandra Marie now working over Spring Tigers in the ring. And these knees to the gut by Alexandra Marie against Spring Tigers in this match. Spring Tigers, oh, Sunset Flip Powerbomb. That was a devastating maneuver by Spring Tigers. Spring Tigers now with a power slam. Spring Tigers now working over Alexandra Marie in this contest. This matchup, the six women's tag team match. Spring Tigers. Oh, wait a second. As soon as I was about to say something, Alexandra Marie now reverses Spring Tigers in her face. Alexandra Marie on the outside of the ring. Referee counting once again here. Spring Tigers is back on the offense. Nice leg whip. Spring Tigers, oh, tosses Alexandra Marie into the ring steps. Don't forget the ladies have been told to stay on. The ringside, let these ladies oh. brawl it out here on the outside of this ring. Alexandra oh. Marie, five 
Alexander Marie rolling back in the ring. Six. And Alexander Marie, I guess she's gonna bring the fight to Spring Tigress. Yeah. Referee restarts his count here on the outside. As these two ladies are back on the outside of the ring. Oh, right back into the steel steps. Alexander Marie's been tossed. Oh, wait a second. Three. I think she was able to put a foot up, reverse it, and then get Spring Tigress oh. tossed into the steel steps. These ladies now brawling on the outside of the ring still. Alexandria Marie. Six. Oh no, misses a move and gets tossed back into the ring by Spring Tigress. Spring Tigress now. Big back suplex. Goes for the cover. One. Only gets a one count. Alexandria Marie proving that she has a lot of fight left in her. She's a former women's champion in other places as Alexandria Maria. Rachel Cross, now the legal lady in this matchup. Rachel Cross, tossed into the corner. That's not the corner she wants to be in. Alexandria Marie tags in Pranvera Bacali. Drop toe hold, elbow combination, and this misfit group of ladies that were tossed together, I don't know how good of friends they are, are definitely working great right now. Working over Rachel Cross. Oh, big slap, just whiffs Rachel Cross. I think Rachel Cross tried getting out of the way there. Has it by the hair now, Pranvera Magali. Oh, gets tossed out of the ring. But wait a second, she hangs onto the ropes. Rachel Cross now. Oh, what's she gonna do here? Suplexes her right back into the ring. Rachel Cross. Working over Pranvera Bagali. Oh, what a roundhouse kick! Pranvera Bagali gets nailed with that roundhouse kick. I would like to thank everyone here that's watching live. If you're watching on YouTube, you should be watching live as these two ladies going for a big tag team move. Don't forget, Rachel Cross and Lilith have history as a tag team together, and they just showed it right here. Oh, Lilith with a huge kick on the Pranvera Magali! Cover! One! Oh, that gets one! I'm surprised! That was a huge kick, Pranvera Magali showing some resiliency here. Wait a second, though. Lilith! Oh, Lilith with this huge move! Lilith, this is her finishing maneuver! Lilith trying to get Pranvera Magali to tap out, but she doesn't! She's able to fight out of this maneuver here in this six ladies tag team matchup. Pranvera Magali, wow! Whoa! What a move by Pranvera Magali, I gotta say! What a move! Goes for the cover, one, two! Oh, it only gets two, oh! And Lilith was able just to kick out in time. What a big move by Pranvera Magali. Oh, and she misses the clothesline and Lilith makes her pay. Lilith, the powerhouse for a tag team, I would say. Tags in Rachel Cross once again. And if these ladies were dressing up for a Halloween party, I would say they would definitely fit in. Grand Vera Magali now has Rachel Cross in a bad way here. In a real bad way here. Going for the cover now. Oh, Rachel Cross though immediately kicks out. I think it's gonna take a lot more to that to finish off Rachel Cross. And maybe that was just a sign of disrespect there by Pranvera Bagali. Rachel Cross able to reverse the Irish whip into the corner. Oh, that big elbow. Oh my God, did you see her just place that elbow right on the nose and then that jaw. Rachel Cross working over Pranvera Bagali. And what a six ladies tag team matchup this has come out to be. And don't forget, I'm sure all six of these ladies will be in that Women's Championship Tournament. I, I can't say for sure which is going to happen on Undisputed Wrestling 3. I'm not management though, so I don't know what's going to happen. Spring Tigers gets the tag from Rachel Cross. And both teams working very well in this matchup. Big power slam by Spring Tigress. And Alexander Marie and Sasha Black are trying to get Pranvera Magali fired up. They're telling her, come on, get to this corner. Oh, and a big kick knocks her right back down. And the tag is made to Sasha Black Rose. Sasha Black Rose, big forearm right there on the Spring Tigress. The tag has been made. Spring Tigress now, big, gets knocked down with a big punch. Sasha Black Rose on the ropes. Shades 
lift, Terry Malaya, Hulk Hogan with these leg drops. Oh, springboard 180 leg drop. I mean, just a 180 leg drop, no springboard there, sorry. A 180 leg drop. Got a little excited watching this women's tag team action. And going for a huge T-bone suplex. Will this be it? Sasha Black goes with a devastating T-bone, like a rag doll. Two, oh my God, only gets two. I can't believe this six women's tag team matchup. And this is only the second match here tonight on Undisputed Wrestling. If you're here on Twitch, it might be different if you're on YouTube. And this giant sleeper hold being applied. Lilith saves her Wicked Syndicate tag team partner. The, the bond between Lilith and Spring Tigers shown right there. Lilith would not let Spring Tigers be in that devastating submission move long. Spring Tigers now gets the tag to Rachel Cross. Rachel Cross now has a fire. And this little red Rachel Cross, she could be looking for a finisher, which is the Big Bad Wolf. She's looking for, I believe, Big Bad Wolf. Nails it. Rachel Cross nails the Big Bad Wolf on Sasha Blackrose. We have a cover. One. Oh, my God. Took too long for the cover, I believe. Sasha Blackrose has not been in this match that long, too. Wait a second, I believe that was a, I believe I could be wrong, too. That might have just been a spinning DDT. I believe a leg DDT is also more of Rachel Cross's big bad wolf that she uses. As I'd like to thank all the viewers for being here on Undisputed Wrestling. Sasha Blackrose reverses a Hurricane Rana into a powerbomb. Alexandria Marie gets the tag into this matchup. Six women's tag going on still. Alexandra Marie. Oh, a snap here, though. She gets reversed, and these two ladies now reversing each other. And these two ladies, I don't know how they still have gas in this women's tag team match. Alexandra Marie goes for a basement drop kick. Misses. Oh, and that's a basement drop kick of her own nails are right in the knee while she was standing. What a what a drop kick. Oh, it takes Alexandra Marie right off her feet. Big suplex right now by Rachel Cross. Rachel Cross looking really good in this matchup. Tagged, I mean, Irish whips and then tagged Lilith back in this match. Looking for a big tag team maneuver here. Drop toe hold into the elbow. And Cranberry McGully trying to get out Alexander Marie fired up. Lilith all raking the eyes of Alexander Marie. Does not care how she wins a match. Does Lilith. Oh, big elbow right to the throat. This could be it. This could be it. This could be, oh my God, only gets two. And that was a light two also. Alexandra Marie able to somehow get her shoulder up. I guess she has some fight left in her. But how much fight is the question? Lilith trying to figure out how much fight she has left in her. What is she going to do to, oh my God, what is she setting up? A buckle bomb on to Alexandra Marie. That is devastating. She looks like she's lifeless right now. Is this it? We got a cover one. Oh my God, only getting two. How does Alexandra Marie somehow kick it out of all these moves? Lilith cannot believe it. Lilith, as you can see, the toll being taken on Lilith. Alexandra Marie somehow getting her shoulder up. And wait a second, I think she wants to make her tap. I think she wants to make her tap. But unfortunately, Alexandra Marie was able to hold on to the ropes. Lilith looking for her finishing maneuver, gets it. And Lilith decides, maybe I've had enough in this matchup with Alexandra Marie. Tags in her pet, her tag team partner, the Wicked par Syndicate partner, Spring Tigress. Nice tag team move to the, oh, wait a second. Nice tag team move, but it wasn't enough for Alexandra Marie. Alexandra Marie nails a belly to back suplex. Goes to the cover. Oh, and almost gets the three count. Spring Tigress gets saved by Rachel Cross. I don't know if she would have kicked out there. And the referee now warning Rachel Cross to get out of the ring. He does. As that happens, Cranberry Magali actually got the surprise tag in this matchup. Oh, wait a second. Sasha Blackrose, who's supposed to be staying in her corner. Oh, my God. Pump handle Sambo suplex. That's a hard move, Doug. Say that's a harder move to pronounce. And these ladies now fighting on the outside of the ring. Cranberry Magali and Spring Tigress. Four. 
Oh, and right into the steel steps is Primera Vigali. Toss Green Tigress. Oh, and a nice big head scissors right there. Picks her up. Nails a giant swinging neck breaker. She needs to get back in the ring. These ladies need to get back in the ring. They need to get back in the ring. Spring Tigers gets back in the ring. Oh my God, Pamela Magali, and she's not gonna get thrown it out as Spring Tigers decides, no, she wants this match to have a clean ending. Once again, fighting on the outside of the ring. Cranberry Magali now getting back in the ring. And the referee is telling Spring Tigress, you have to get back in the ring. Why, are, why is he telling Cranberry to throw her back in the ring? She's tag team partners, maybe she should be getting off the aprons and helping their partners, I'm just saying. These ladies brawling on the outside of the ring here. Once again, this isn't looking good for Spring Tigress. Oh my God! Hammerlock DDT on the outside of the ring, and Pranvera Magali knows what a move she just hit on Spring Tigress. Letting the fans know. Oh my God! Now working over her arm and like a half a camel clutch. Oh my God! And then there's a DDT in her arm down the outside of the ring. Could put a shoulder out of place doing that. Pranvera Magali is now just working over every limb of Spring Tigress on the outside of the ring. She needs to get back in the ring though. Stomping away on Spring Tigress. She gets back in the ring. I think it's obvious what she wants. And Team Primera Magali out of Daniel Marie. And. Win the match. This devastating action in this match. I can't Here believe it ends my count winners. out. As Alexandra Marie, Sasha Black Rose, and Cranberry Magali are successful by count out in this matchup against the Wicked Syndicate and Rachel Cross. And I'm sure that's not how Alexandra Marie and Sasha Black Rose might have won on one in this, but that's how Cranberry Magali won it. The semifinals. We are here now live with the semifinals on this dude wrestling. All four of these men have wrestled earlier tonight already. Biff Andreas will take on Connor James. Tyler King will take on Sean Dynasty. The semifinals of the live championship tournament has started now. Biff Andreas makes his way down the ring. Biff Andreas was victorious earlier against Nick Gemini. He knows he is now only two matches away to becoming the first ever live champion in Undisputed Wrestling. Uh, something that you'll never be able to take away from the winner of this tournament. They'll always be the first live champion. No matter if they lose that belt or win it again, they'll always be the first. The claim that you'll always be able to say, you beat three men in one night to win the Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship. Biff Andreas in the ring against Connor James. The man making his way to the ring right now. Connor James, a former Maple Leaf champion and Canadian tag team champion in North American Late Wrestling. He also won the Brody Cup in Omega Pro Wrestling. Connor James looks to become the very first ever live champion. He only has two matches in his way with one of them being Biff Andreas in that match about to take place. Connor James was victorious earlier tonight against Mike Valander. Connor James, the diabolical one, the cynical one. And I would like to get a plug for WEDF NXT right now. WEDF Federation on, WED Federation on YouTube at WEDF NXT at WEDF at official WEDF, one of those two for the WDF on Twitter. At WDF NXT on Twitter for the WDF NXT on Twitter, I know that. Connor James in the ring. 
Undisputed Wrestling affiliated with a lot of car companies. These men wrestle all over the world in multiple places. Now they're in the most undisputed company of them all. Connor James believes he will be the first Undisputed Wrestling Live Champion. As this match is about to get underway, the semifinals officially has started here in Undisputed Wrestling for the Live Championship. These two men lock up. Biff and Jay's Connor James know each other very well. Biff Andreas, some would say, is the favorite in this matchup, a former world champion 10 times over, I believe. I know he's a former OPW champion, a former New Day W champion on three different occasions. He has won championships also in IWT. Just name it, Biff Andreas has probably won a world heavyweight championship there. Andreas now has Connor James down, slamming his head into the mat. Biff Andreas working over the arm of Connor James. And Connor James able to reverse right there. Connor James now has Andreas in the right where he wants him against the ropes, I guess. Irish whip against the other ropes now. Connor James with a big kick to the chest takes down Biff Andreas. And you cannot count Connor, Connor James out. Interesting fact, both these men are former Maple Leaf champions in North American League Wrestling. So, Connor James has held the exact belt that Biffin James has held before. Connor James could very well beat Biffin James for that championship gold. As I'm now getting notes that, it's the Canadian, that it was the Canadian Tag Team Championship they both held together, not the Maple Leaf. It was the Canadian Tag Team Championship both men have held. Sorry about that. Biff Andreas now. Flurry of offense, Andreas. Just fall away slam onto Connor James, nails it. Right on the Undisputed Wrestling logo in the middle of the ring. Andreas, oh, gets kicked right in the, the, the tail of the kneecap right there. And Connor James now maybe going for snake eyes. Andreas falls behind him, German suplex. Very nicely done by Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas definitely has a, many more years in CAW than Connor James has, but Connor James has been on a roll in CAW. Like I said, winning the Brody Cup just recently in OPW. And that was a tournament style match, tournament style cup, so Connor James has won a tournament just recently this year. Andreas though, you're a Nagi! Big year a Nagi by Andreas. I've seen him win championship with this book before. Two! Oh, it only gets two! Andreas can't believe it, Connor James takes on a two. You can see Connor James is hurting. Andreas will be looking for the wave of the future here. Oh, Connor James might be playing possible a little bit though. Went for that straight jab, Andreas. Remember what happened to Ballander with that, with that giant spinning back fist in the first match? Stayed away from it. Oh, and a nice jaw breaker reversal by Andreas. Oh, Connor James though, still fighting off Andreas. These two men now fight each other, Andreas. Wait a second, we see him do this once, we're gonna see him do it again, Andreas right through the ropes! No! No! Oh my god, look at this! Connor James rolled out of the way! We seen it once tonight, and Connor James said we weren't gonna see it twice! Connor James rolls out of the way! Are you kidding me? And Connor James, I can't believe it! Both men now have taken big, big falls to the outside of the ring mats. As, as Biff Andreas just tossed him in the fallaway slam again, Andreas going with the loud, oh my god, an electric chair that can kill Connor James. And yes, that pun was definitely intended, that word on play, whatever you want to call it. Andreas now has Connor James in a bad way, and I thought I, I thought Andreas would be hurt after that suicide dive. Maybe, I didn't see how Andreas landed, maybe he was able to roll and, get, and, and protect himself from a more devastating landing than we've seen. Both men now trying to fight to get back in the ring, and Connor James now. Oh, wait a second, Connor James. I think he's just playing with Biff here. And both these men now. Look at that. I don't know what, what, what the plan there, but whatever it was, I think Connor James was, was, was playing with Biff Andreas right there. Andreas now in a bad way, though. Connor James did, get the, did, did come up with the advantage here. Connor James. Connor James. Oh, big giant. 
suplex right there. The impact of that suplex. Connor James drove him down with almost like a jackhammer like maneuver by Connor James. Only gets two. I can't believe it. That's like a, that was a big move by Connor James. And Andreas reversed whatever Connor James was going for here. Andreas now gets reversed by Connor James. Connor James. Oh, wait a second. Andreas gets behind Andreas. Gets behind James and nails a big reverse DDT. Great match here by Andreas and Connor James. Only one of these men can move to the finals to the live championship match. As we got a cover here by Andreas, and this be it. Only gets a deep two. A deep, deep, deep two. Basement drop kick misses. Connor James now. Maybe no. Andreas with a big forearm of his own. Andreas now going for the Uranagi once again. Andreas nails the Uranagi. Nails the Uranagi on Connor James. This very well could be it. This very well could be it for Connor James. One, two. Oh, and Connor James gets his shoulder up to his credit. A second year in Nagi in this match doesn't put him down. Andreas cannot believe it. Connor James fighting back still. A jab. James down. Irish whip. James has something planned for Andreas. Oh my God. We see. Wait a second. We see Connor James do this in the first matchup. He wants to do it again. Get a suplex into the outside of the ring. And oh my God, Andreas, oh my God. Just like he did to Ballander earlier, he does it to Andreas here tonight. And the fans can't believe it, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome, they said. Must have been the way Andreas landed. Andreas took a devastating fall there. He looks like he is just, oh my God. No, he somehow gets a double leg takedown on Connor James. The referee's count is continuing here as these men fight on the outside. If this fight, oh, Andreas is back in the ring. I was gonna say, if these, the referee's count gets up too high, that means that we're gonna have just a, a, a live championship match between the, between the next two, Sean Dynasty and King. But this obviously not gonna happen. These two men back in the matchup. Big power slam by Connor James. Andreas in a bad way now. Connor James looking to win this matchup. Connor James looking to win this matchup. Connor James looking all oh, the half a jackhammer once again. Connor James. Connor James. Big move. Big move. Andreas down. Pulls him away from the ropes. Veteran like instincts by Connor James. Shown but only gets two. Might have took too much time. Connor James can't believe it. Andreas kicks out at two. Undisputed wrestling one. Danny Jackpot here live on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot, C-A-W, also on YouTube.com, slash D-Jack Extras. The saving grace by Connor James! The saving grace! Is this it? That's gotta be it! Andreas is down! The saving grace! James is gonna win this match, and he moves on to the finals. Connor James has moved on to the finals. He has beat Biff Andreas here tonight. Big win for Connor James. Connor James comes back. He, he reversed that suicide dive, and I think that was a big momentum shift in the match. Even though the match continued after that, this was a hell of a hell of a contest between two great athletes. And Connor James has now found his way to the finals of the Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship Tournament. And he is about to find out who his opponent's gonna be, I'm sure, after he celebrates just a little bit. And Connor James wants again telling the referee he doesn't need your acknowledgement. Connor James knows he wins the match. As we continue on here in the semifinals here of the live championship tournament of Undisputed Wrestling, Undisputed Wrestling won. Tyler King made his triumphant return, defeated. Lamarcus Carter earlier now looking to continue on his success as Tyler King faces Sean Dynasty here in the semifinals. The winner of this match will take on Connor James. Tyler King 
a former World Heavyweight Champion in UNAW, a former WDF NXT Tag Team Champion, a belt that he had to vacate due to personal reasons when he left CAW, as I mentioned earlier. Tyler King made a triumphant return with a win over LaMarcus Carter, but what a triumphant story it would be if he could win all three matches and win the live championship here in his return to CAW. Tyler King in the ring, the majestic Tyler King, gonna take on a man that he knows very well. Now let me tell you guys a little something. Let me take you back to the year 2014, where I, myself, with Biff Andreas, was along in a tag team, a, for, a faction called the Sons of Anarchy, with these two men, Sean Dynasty and Tyler King. We all know each other very, very well. Tyler King, Sean Dynasty, these two men, semi-final match of the Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship Tournament. Sean Dynasty was victorious over Eric Cage earlier tonight. Sean Dynasty, the good father, the preacher, the spoiler. Man, he already spoiled Cage's return tonight. He, uh, he's already said now that backstage, I've heard the rumors of Sean Dynasty saying that, heck, let's make it two for two tonight on, on, on spoils. Sean Dynasty, Tyler King, second semifinal match. Winner faces Connor James. Match has started. Tyler King pushes Sean Dynasty back into a corner. And I believe we're going to get a clean break here. The referee's asking for it. We do get one. These two men do know each other well. So I did expect a clean break. We did get a clean break there from Sean Dynasty and Tyler King. And like I said, it goes back to 2014. These two men were in a stable together with myself and Biff Andreas, the Sons of Anarchy. Here in 2021 now, these two men wrestling in the semifinals for the Honest Food Wrestling Live Championship. In the tournament, Sean Dynasty nails a headbutt on Tyler King. Sean Dynasty. Working over Tyler King. Huge mounted punches onto the King. Tyler King, the majestic one. Both these men, former world heavyweight champions. Sean Dynasty, a former ACWL heavyweight champion. Allen's Championship Wrestling League, a league that was around in 2004. Not many original CAWs have held that ACWL heavyweight championship. Sean Dynasty is one of those people who can say, yes, I have. And yes, I am one of those original superstars. Tyler King. Oh my God. Trying to break Sean Dennis's nose with that huge move right there. A huge just slamming, the, just slamming his head off the mat face first on his knees. King now, big kick to the, big kick to the spine area of Dynasty. Tyler King. Oh, nice, nice knee, Muay Thai style almost. Tyler King now, oh, gets reversed after a few strikes. Sean Dynasty, what's he got planned? And he's biting, he's biting King. We've seen him be in the cage earlier, now he's biting King. Oh, and, oh, what? King, though, able to reverse. Sean Dynasty, oh, able to reverse his own with an elbow to the bread basket. And Tyler King now, arm ringer, elbow after the arm ringer. John Dynasty reverses an Irish whip, tosses Tyler King outside of the ring. No, Irish, Tyler King holds on to the ring apron. John Dynasty went for some kind of move. Tyler King holds on, fights his way back in the ring. Tyler King now, Fisherman suplex, doesn't get all of it. John Dynasty's foot also in the ropes there. King picks him up, doesn't really matter. Going for the King's plunge, going for the King's plunge. He nails it on John Dynasty. Tyler King, one, two. And Sean Dynasty kicks out at two. Winning of the, the winner of this match will take on Connor James in the finals. And Tyler King now belly to back suplex. Nails Sean Dynasty with a huge move. And Tyler King calling for it. Tyler King looking for his Death Valley driver. Looking to crown him. Tyler King looking to crown him. He has him up for the Death Valley driver. Sean Dynasty in a bad way right now. Tyler King, if he can make quick work of Sean Dynasty, which he just crowned him, this will be a big win. Oh my God, I know. No way. Sean Dynasty has just kicked out after being crowned. 
and Tyler King can't believe it. Doesn't let it doesn't let it get to him though. Tyler King stays on the offense. Tyler King picks up Sean Dynasty. Tyler King knows Sean Dynasty's in a bad way. Tyler King now always oh, going for some kind of big move on Dynasty. I don't know what he's going for here. He's on the top turnbuckle. Tyler King now. Tyler King now. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's that? Oh my God. A superplex. A superplex. A superplex by King. Sean Dynasty somehow nails an uppercut. Somehow nails an uppercut. Sean Dynasty now somehow slams Tyler King. Sean Dynasty needs to be a house of fire if he's going to win this matchup. And Sean Dynasty has that has that, that muscle lock on Tyler, Tyler King. And oh, Tyler King on reverse over Sean Dynasty with a big elbow. King still has some life back in him. Sean Dynasty though. Whipped him right into the turnbuckle. Dynasty now. Sean Dynasty. Oh no, oh no. That, that please go for this giant knee to the face. Oh, and Dynasty nails this giant knee to the face. This could be it. This could be it. Oh my god, this knee to the face. The knee of knowledge he calls that. The knee of knowledge he calls that. Then it doesn't work. The brass kneecap did not work. Sean Dynasty now. Big sidewalk slam and he just stares at Tyler King like what will keep you down? The brass kneecap, that knee of knowledge wasn't enough. Sean Dynasty looking to end Tyler King with this huge move, whatever he's going for here. And oh, the Dynasty Destroyer, he nails it on Tyler King. He nails it on Tyler King. Sean Dynasty is also down now. 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 He's up to his feet. Tyler King now has some life left. The Dynasty Destroyer. The Dynasty Destroyer took just as much out of King. Just as much out of Dynasty as it did King. Tyler King now back to his feet. Both these men fighting. Both these men fighting. Oh my god, the Dynasty Destroyer. I thought that was it for Tyler King. I thought that was it for Tyler King, but Sean Dynasty could not could not recover in time. Oh, an eye rig by Sean Dynasty. Do whatever it takes to win this matchup. Sean Dynasty now. Oh my god, that double axe handle to the back. King now still fighting back. King now ducks the clothesline. King nails a huge clothesline of his own. Tyler King says, I know this man way too well. Tyler King! King's fun! King's plunge by Tyler King! King's plunge by Tyler King! One, two, three, Tyler King! Connor James in the finals! Tyler King, Connor James in the finals. And what a match! I gotta give to Sean Dynasty. I might not always agree on his opinion, and I'm sure a lot of us don't, but he is a hell of a talent, a former ACW Love champion. These two former Sons of Anarchy members know each other very, very well. Sons of Liberty, Sons of Liberty. I'm sorry, I say sons, I've been saying Anarchy the entire time. Sons of Liberty, Sons of Liberty. I'm glad I got to correct myself on that. By the time this match ended, I just realized that I get so excited sometimes, guys, seeing two of my former stable mates wrestle in this great action here on Disputed Wrestling. Dynasty Destroyer, but you can see Sean Dynasty just didn't have enough. Tyler King says, I know this man all too well. I know this man all too well. He, he, he gets picks him up, the King's Plunge, Tyler King, victorious, Tyler King, Connor James, Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship Tournament Finals about to happen. This is it everybody, this is it. The Undisputed Wrestling Live Championship is about to be crowned. Connor James taking on Tyler King. For the Honest Feud Wrestling Live Championship, the tournament finals. One fall to a finish. These two men have definitely earned their spot here tonight. Connor James has defeated Biff Andreas. He's also defeated Mike Ballander to be in this matchup. Connor James, some said that the Biff Andreas match would be his, would be where he stopped. 
what I've been mean, told in the backstage locker room, what, what, what everyone was betting against them in that one. And what the live stream had to say on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot Call. If you're not there during these live shows, you should be following me there so you can be with us live. And don't forget, you can always sign up with us live on Honest Peter Wrestling. Links are in the description. Connor James, Tyler King, live championship match about to take place. The very first ever live, the very first ever championship match here in Honest Peter Wrestling. Connor James, Tyler King has that distinct opportunity to say they were in it. Connor James, Tyler King, Tyler King, who has just made his return to CAW here tonight. Tyler King now could be just one match away from being champion, the live champion, a belt that will be defended on every single live show. So that's why you have to be following us on twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW. Tyler King has had quite the journey here. He has defeated the Marcus Carter and Sean Dynasty in the tournament to continue on to advance to the finals here. The Honest Mutant Wrestling Live Championship Tournament Finals about to take place and I am so, so, so happy to be here calling the action live. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else right now in the entire world than right here in the main event of the very first ever Honest Mutant Wrestling 1 Mega Show. The live championship match. Two men who we just watch earn, fight, and do everything they can to be in this match to get here to this point. There it is, the UW Live Championship. The UW Live Champion will either be Connor James or Tyler King. And this match is underway. Starts off with a lockup. Tyler King pushes Connor James back into a corner. Now, are we gonna get a clean break here? Now that's a good question. I know Connor James has respect for Tyler King, showing it. By giving a clean break here, live championship matchup, finals. Thank you all that's watching live. I thank you for all that's been here all night. I think everyone that's been that's came in and watched a little bit of it. Connor James. And what's he got planned here? T Bone Suplex after taking down Tyler King. Both these men have already wrestled big matches earlier tonight. Connor James looking for a three count. Both these men, don't forget, have to be weak. Have already wrestled two matches. I don't expect this one to go long. You gotta remember that. These both these men have taken a lot of punishment in their matches earlier. They did not have short matches. All these matches have been hard fought contests in every single match here tonight. Other than maybe the Nate Ferrer and Marcus Matrix one, which Marcus Matrix stole one from Nate Ferrer. I'm not gonna die, we can't take that away from him here. Connor James working over Tyler King, Tyler King down the mat. Only one of these men will be the Honest Mutant Wrestling Live champion. A belt that will be defended at every event. Tyler King working over the leg here. Connor James though, now sweeping a leg of his own. Connor James stomping away at Tyler King. And, and don't forget, they, both these men use very similar finishing maneuvers, pretty much almost the exact same move. If you want to call it one way or another, Tyler King, oh my god! Catches him with a Samoan drop. Tyler King gets a big impact move on Connor James. Connor James crawling up using the ropes to get up to his feet. Oh, maybe play a little bit of possible. Connor James, though. Don't forget, he's the cynical, the diabolical one. Connor James. Very, very smart. Connor James. Oh, what an arm wrench right there. What an arm wrench right there. And wow, Fisherman Buster by Tyler King onto Connor James. Kicked it up back. And you can see both these men are tired. They've wrestled two matches already. Now this is going to the third. Oh, Connor James on the reverse, Tyler King. Now stops in the midsection. Oh my god, and it's by the next. Now I'm showing a little bit of disrespect for Tyler King. Two! It only gets two! Oh my god! Connor James almost became the live champion right there. The very first ever champion, not just been wrestling the live championship. Don't forget on the very next event, Monster Messiah versus Chris Snyder determined the undisputed North American champion, Extreme Tony. King's plunge! King's plunge on the Connor James! We can have a live champion right here! We can have a live champion right here! One! Two, oh, and Connor James kicks out. And we can, and don't forget, Extreme Tony, Joe Omega for the Undisputed Championship. 
on, on Honesty to Wrestling 2, we're going to have a Dipta Cole versus Marcus Majors and Dale Von Deuce. Oh, they have a jackhammer by Connor James and the Ta King. Will this be it? And Ta King gets his hands on the rope, luckily, or that could have very well been it. This, this great contest here for the live championship. Connor James now. What's the up plan for Tyler King? Tosses him to the outside of the ring. Connor James, Tyler King fighting. Live championship match. The very first ever be, to be crowned the very first ever live champion. And Connor James, what's he got planned for Tyler King? This doesn't look good. Oh my god, I would be. I'm glad Tyler King reversed whatever whatever Connor James had planned, because Connor James, I think, didn't have nothing good planned for Tyler King. Oh, and then that neck toss by Connor James. The choke toss. Connor James now with it once again just choking him and tossing him down. And Connor James and just whoa, I'm not gonna repeat what Connor James just said. It, it wasn't anything nice for me to send a Tyler King though. And he would win the title on a count here as a, as a tournament. Wow, I hate to say that Connor James realized that he, he, he tried going for it. Connor James might have just tried going for a count out win here in this tournament. Oh, I don't know what he was going for there, but Tyler King was able to reverse. Huge DDT by Tyler King. Tyler King now. Tyler King. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! And the referee, I don't know how that's not a disqualification. I don't know how. I think the referee's allowing it. Tyler King now. Tyler King, what's he got planned here for Connor James? Tyler King going to the top rope here for Connor James. With Connor James, I mean, picked him up. If you're looking for a superplex, we've seen him use this once or twice earlier already tonight. Tyler King, superplex, a move that Connor James has also used multiple times tonight. Oh my god, one, two, and Connor James takes out at two. How did he kick out? I do not know. I thought the win might have been knocked right out of him. Tyler King now looking to become the live champion. What a triumphant story it would be for Tyler King to win this match. Connor James, the diabolical one, does not want this to happen. The cynical one. Oh my god, look at this headlock. He's squeezing the life out of Connor James with this headlock. I'm not gonna lie. Connor James, I'm surprised he didn't tap. And Connor James has a headlock of his own now. Go, oh, Tyler King, though. Kick to the midsection. Connor James with a snap here. Connor James now, oh my god, a chin lock. Connor James with a chin lock, a devastating chin lock. A devastating chin lock now. Oh, and a jawbreaker by Connor James, by, by Tyler King and Connor James. And these men have to be tired. I've already said that earlier. They have to be exhausted after two wrestling two matches and now almost this third contest. Connor James with a big back suplex. Tyler King is down on the mat. Connor James picks him up. Connor James, this could be it. Connor James, oh my God! Cracker Jacker by Connor James. That was a big move by Connor James. Cracker Jacker by Connor James, looking for this half a half a jack knife, a half a half a jackhammer by Connor James. This action non-stop here in Honest Spirit Wrestling. I think we're gonna have a new live champion. His name's Connor James. The cover by Connor James on the Tyler King. Is the story cut short? No, it's not. Tyler King kicks out at two. Connor James stays on the offense though. Connor James a big back elbow on a Tyler King. Connor James. He says third time's the charm. I think I know what Connor James is going for here. Connor James. Wait, no. Connor James, what's he gonna do here? Wait, I thought he was going for that superplex. Connor James, what? What? Oh! Super low blow on the Tyler King. That was the most disrespectful thing I think I've ever seen done in a wrestling ring to win the championship. To win the championship. Connor James, Tyler King kicks out it. I don't even know how the referee allowing moves like that to happen. I think because because of the championship and it's the Honest Dude Wrestling one man event. Connor James did one of the most diabolical moves I've ever seen, ever. 
the Golden Globes, the Tag Team. Tyler King, though, has Connor James in a bad way here. Tyler King knocked him down with the clothesline. Could be looking for the crown. Tyler King could be looking for the crown on Connor James. He nails it, it looks like. Oh my God, he does. He nails the crown. Tyler King's story. The Tyler, Tyler King's return, return story of winning the live championship, return to Honest Beard Wrestling, could be over with a success. Got Tyler King, no. Connor James kicks out. Connor James has kicked out of the crown. He just got crowned, and Connor James has kicked out. Tyler King can't believe it. I think the fans can't believe it. I thought that was it. Live championship match continues here on Disputed Wrestling 1. Connor James, Tyler King, finals tournament. Big match here. Big match here. Oh, and the iron rake by Connor James. Doing whatever it takes to win this match is Connor James. Doing whatever it takes to win this match is Connor James. And now he said third time's the charm. Connor James has done this not once, not twice, and not just one, not just two men. We've got third time, the third man tonight, to a super flex to the outside of the ring. Tyler King down and out here in front of us. And, and the fans are now saying this is awesome, and I 100% agree with them. Undisputed Wrestling, one of the greatest organizations, one of the greatest startups I've ever been part of right here. And I'm so excited. Tyler King, shoulder breaker. I don't even know how he's fighting back after all this. Tyler King somehow fighting back after being taken out with that superplex. And anyone that Connor James has nailed that move on earlier has won against. Just want to say, let's take that suplex a lot out of you. Connor James on the outside of the ring gets back in. Tyler King, Connor James, and a count of seven, both men back in the ring. Connor James with the snapmare. Connor James now with that chin lock. With this chin lock on the, with this chin lock, and if Tyler King taps out to a chin lock, I think the fans would be so sad. But she might not be able to help it. He's been in such a devastating situation. Tyler King trying to fight back. Tyler King with a jawbreaker on the Connor James once again. Tyler King now. Tyler King, Tyler King, King's Plunge, King's Plunge, King's Plunge on the Connor James. Oh my God, oh my God. One, two, three. Tyler King is the Undisputed Wrestling Live Champion. Oh my God. Tyler King has just returned to CAW and has just become the Live Champion. And what a match, what an event. I thank you all for being here live. It took not just one, but two King plunges, a crowning by Tyler King to finish, to finish Connor James off in this championship tournament final. And, and look at him just wrench the head and the neck Connor James did to Tyler King there. But Tyler King fought back the King's plunge and Tyler King now is the very first ever Undisputed Wrestling Live champion. And he can't believe it. He is now holding up his championship gold. Tyler King is the live champion. Tyler King victorious here. As I thank you all for coming. I thank you all for being here. Undisputed Wrestling 2 coming soon.